As I am sure many of you are aware, McLaren driver Daniel Ricciardo has decided to call it quits with the British team after two rather mediocre seasons. This most probably came as a shock to many of you, considering that he had stated his intention to stay with the team just a few months earlier. During the summer break, Daniel Ricciardo is the most talked about person, but not for the reasons he would like. The 2022 season has been marked with many twists and turns, and mostly by rumors, which have for some been clarified, and which for others remain elucidated. The most recent one being the rumor around Ricardo's potential move to Haas. People started associating Ricardo with several teams on the grid when he declared he wouldn't stop competing as of right now, with Alpine being the most popular one for him. However, in an unexpected turn of events, Ricardo appears to be joining Haas starting in 2023 and beyond, and there have been rumors that Steiner has been in touch with him recently. So, how likely is it that such a move will occur? will weigh the pros and cons of a potential move to Haas for Daniel and what others have been saying about the rumors. Daniel Ricciardo's future in Formula 1 is still unknown, but one of the most well-known figures in the sport is said to have spoken with the Australian driver about a potential opening on the grid. Since joining McLaren ahead of the 2021 season, the 33-year-old has only achieved one podium finish result, a spectacular triumph at the Italian Grand Prix last year. But aside from that one successful weekend in Monza, Nothing for the Perth driver at McLaren has gone according to plan. Since joining the Woking-based team, Lando Norris has consistently outperformed Ricardo, who is currently 12th in the driver's standings, with 19 points after 13 races. Norris, who finished on the podium in the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix in April, sits 8th, with 76 points. According to reports, the 8-time Grand Prix champion is looking for a staggering 8-figure payoff to leave his contract with McLaren, which expires after the 2023 season. Even though a return to Alpine seems to be Ricardo's most likely next step, there are rumors that he might end up somewhere else in the F1 paddock in 2023. Haas has become a possible suitor for Ricardo's talents after ESPN reported that the team principal Gunther Steiner had been in touch with the Australian star during the mid-season break. But this may not be quite the end of Daniel's Formula 1 career just yet. In fact, his most likely move appears to be either rivals Alpine after the bombshell news that Fernando Alonso will be moving to Aston Martin for the 2023 campaign, with a certain other Aussie by the name of Oscar Piatri looking less and less likely to take the vacant seat by the minute. A more experienced yet aging compatriot in the shape of a honey badger is looking like the next best bet for Alpine. This comes after news that Alpine, formerly known as Renault, had offered Piastri a place in the 2023 race after Fernando Alonso surprisingly defected to Aston Martin. However, the Australian publicly disliked the team that had sponsored so much of his successful youth career. This has subsequently put McLaren and Alpine in an awkward position, as Ricardo is firmly signed for 2023 and has publicly stated he has no plans to leave the team. Ricardo could end up negotiating a buyout with McLaren and leaving the team. Possibly in his best interest after struggling through the first half of the three-year deal he signed with the team, unless Piastri ends up at McLaren or Alpine, the former F3 and F2 champion will surely be pursued by other teams. However, it seems Ricardo still has his own admirers, one of them being Haas. Haas reportedly contacted Daniel Ricardo regarding his availability for the 2023 season. Ricardo received the message from Haas team principal Gunther Steiner at the Hungarian F1 Grand Prix on July 31st before the summer holidays, according to ESPN. Ricardo is set to leave McLaren before next season, and this has finally been confirmed and has been the subject of silly season rumors which he's expected to address at this weekend's Belgian Grand Prix. The Haas F1 2023 driver lineup will include Kevin Magnussen, who has signed a multi-year deal. Meanwhile, Mick Schumacher's current contract expires at the end of 2022, and his future is uncertain. This is where Ricardo can come in. He is now a free agent for 2023. The Australian veteran was under contract with McLaren until the end of 2023, but the team have informed him that they intend to replace him with Oscar Piastri next year. Alpine is also a serious option for Ricardo. He represented them when the team was still known as Renault, but Ricardo is currently receiving £12.2 million from McLaren this season, making him the fifth highest paid on the grid. Schumacher is making under £1 million this season, so many fans are curious as to whether Haas, who lacks the strong financial backing as many other teams, could pay the asking price for Ricardo, should they decide to leave the second-year driver Mick Schumacher behind. Especially given the fact that Schumacher, the son of the seven-time F1 champion Michael, has shown signs of improvement in 2022, but his progress has been hampered by two serious accidents in Saudi Arabia and Monaco, which brought him much criticism. Reducing the number of seats for its 2023 F1 driver lineup 
means Haas is not yet ready to commit to keeping Schumacher. Although much remains to be ironed out before the start of the 2023 season, it seems increasingly likely that McLaren and Ricardo will part ways at the end of the season. Daniel Ricardo is still struggling with McLaren in a difficult F1 week over how he managed the season so far. The pressure is on Ricardo to perform in the final nine races of the season as he enters the Belgian Grand Prix 76 points to 19 behind teammate Lando Norris. He said the opportunity to compete in such a small, elite group of drivers and teams has kept him motivated despite his struggles on the track this year. The competition is like a little 0.01% of a group, so to be able not only to be a part of that group, but to compete within that group, which is unique to itself, he said. And I love that. The truth is that the heights you get are so high because so many things are involved. Of course, you take risks, like winning a race. Man did not put on one Sunday drive. You risked everything. The team made it. You pushed your body, mentally and physically. Daniel Ricciardo So the rush and the reward are quite amazing and quite spectacular. However, there have been calls for F1 to go ahead. Of the eight-time Grand Prix winner, with former F1 ace Ralph Schumacher hinting that Ricciardo would not find his way back into the sport unless he found a place for next season. While we await the final statement from Ricciardo, who is supposed to address the media on the situation and potentially clarify the rumors in the coming days. According to ESPN, Ricardo received the communication from Haas team principal Gunther Steiner before the summer break at the F1 Hungarian Grand Prix on July 31st. Ricardo will leave the team. McLaren has finally been confirmed for next season, after being the subject of silly season rumors, which he is set to address this weekend at the Belgian Grand Prix. Kevin Magnussen is under contract with Haas for numerous years, while Mick Schumacher's current deal ends at the end of 2022, leaving his future unknown. That's where Ricardo, a free agent in 2023, comes in. The veteran Australian's contract with McLaren was set to expire at the end of 2023, but the club allegedly informed him that Oscar Piastri would take his place the next year. According to sources, paying off Ricardo and signing Piastri is less expensive for McLaren than paying Ricardo in 2023. Alpine is another possibility for Ricardo. He was a part of the Renault team while it was called that. This season, McLaren is paying Ricardo. However, a recent rumor stipulates that there is another team looking to hire the services of the prolific eight-time Grand Prix winner. Step forward has team boss Gunther Steiner. It appears as though he contacted Ricardo before the mid-season break about a possible future with Haas. With the recent news about the ending of Daniel Ricardo's relationship with McLaren, we now have amongst us a very interesting media tick saga to follow. Is Daniel Ricardo's future in F1? The truth is, is that the Australian driver could have some attractive offers on the table to continue in the competition for 2023. One of those could be from Alpine. The French team will be looking for a driver, and Ricardo knows the environment very well, since he was with the team back when it was called Renault. The other offer could be from Haas. The American team confirmed Kevin Magnussen's seat for next year, and they are still yet to decide whether Mick Schumacher continues with the team or not for 2023. That opens the door for Ricardo in what could be a very surprising but not crazy move. If you think about it, the biggest issue is Ricardo's salary. He now earns 10 times more money than Schumacher, and there's no certainty that Haas would be able to pay that amount when we consider the size of the team and the con